Here are this week's top stories from the Bangkok Post, I'm Gary Boyle. Five top cops in Phuket were removed from duty after a lawyer posted a video on Facebook showing a hotel's night spots open after hours. The lawyer said he'd received complaints from Phuket residents that the Patong Bay Hill Resort Hotel had opened its entertainment venues beyond the legal closing time for years, annoying the public with excessive noise. He said he informed the authorities, but no action was taken. Police said the Big Five at Patong Police Station would work at the provincial headquarters to clear the way for a fact-finding police panel to look into the case. Eight people have filed complaints against former Democrat deputy leader Rin Panit Chapak, accusing him of sexual misconduct. Lawyer Sitar Beer Bangert said most of the complainants were lured to dine with the suspect before allegedly being raped. One complainant claims she was drugged, while another in the United Kingdom will be presented as a witness. Panit Chapak stepped down as deputy leader of the party on April 15 after the first accusations. The roof of a new bus terminal at Don Meung Airport collapsed as heavy rain lashed parts of Bangkok. Photos on social media showed the roof and a wall of the newly built structure buckled under the weight of rainwater from a violent summer storm. No one was injured because the building had not been opened for use. Damage was estimated at 20 million baht and initially blamed on overloaded gutters. Songkran revelers, mostly foreign tourists, were caught flouting the water-splashing ban while celebrating the Thai New Year festival. Checkpoints were set up on Khao San Road to prevent visitors from bringing water guns to the area, while shops along the road were asked not to sell such weapons. Meanwhile, Hat Rin Beach on Koh Phangan Island was packed with revelers for the first full-scale full moon party since the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic. Following the easing of restrictions, more than 10,000 tourists, mostly foreigners, enjoyed the first such event since February 2020. Join us for more top stories next week on the Bangkok Post.